great host of ascended masters, the great cosmic beings, and the legion of light, to glorify, to enfold you and hold you within its mighty radiance unto your eternal victory. The glory of the light of God, the mighty I am presence, within you, enfold you in its invincible protection. Enfold you in its mighty directing intelligence, and clothe you in its mighty light, forever sustained. I thank you. Pan Pacific Class, Los Angeles, California. Glorified are all this day in the sacred radiance of the great cosmic light which has come into action at our bidding today, that you might have the benefit of its radiance in this concentrated energy, intelligence, and activity. Out of the fullness of this great cosmic light will come to humanity its freedom. In your great call to the light, which is your mighty I am presence, you are fulfilling the requirements of the human octave of life. Without that, the great cosmic light would not be able, but in a small degree, to interfere with your free will. The call of so many in America today has made it possible for this blessing of the great cosmic light to enter in the fullness of its power, to this end we hope for complete freedom. The next few months will tell how much of the cataclysmic activity will be governed. Unhappy Europe. Will you with us visualize and call forth the mighty cosmic light, the assistance of the great legion of light, the great host of masters, and the great cosmic beings, to stay the onrushing? 272. Destruction there? Much depends upon your call, Europe does not understand how. The great mass of the people have largely accepted the appearance. Therefore, I ask you to give your call for the assistance of your fellow man there. You cannot imagine the service you might render. In all the activity of the messengers we have never once asked this, but tonight I ask it because it is needed. There is a great volume of energy and light released at the call of more than 200,000 students who are sending up their call tonight, knowing this is the closing day of this class, knowing of some of the great radiance which is here. How grateful, how very grateful we are who have waited so long for the attention of mankind to be drawn to these limitless powers that could give them the assistance required. You today who are learning something of this great infinite law, the law of life and its conscious application, are privileged indeed. We, who have attained, have our freedom, and so long have been waiting for mankind to come to the point where this could come forth, are grateful for this call. Otherwise, this would have been the greatest cataclysm which has ever come on earth. We hope to minimize it, so the least possible destruction will occur. May the onrushing cosmic light produce its perfection for mankind, in and through them, untouched, uncollared by human. 274 Ascent Discordant Creation Many of you will live to see and experience the great, great transformation. It is on its way. Tire not in giving your mighty decrees for the freedom of the earth. Know you not, O, oh, precious ones, that in the call to the light for the freedom of America and the world, your freedom is compelled to come forth because in this call your thought and feeling are withdrawn from self. Do you know that intellectual vanity and self-pity are the greatest tragedies in the experience of mankind today? It takes away from the individual the recognition and acceptance of the power of light which beats each heart, which gives each one the service he requires. Tonight, our rejoicing is so very great, to be of assistance, for the service which it has been possible for me to render since the messengers were in San Francisco, I am very grateful and joyous to say, has been accomplished, because of your love, the love of the students of Saint Germain. You shall, ere long, know what the beloved Saint Germain has meant to you and the world. To him is due all credit for the bringing forth of this wondrous knowledge of the mighty I am presence in its purity, clearness, and simplicity. It cannot be misunderstood. Yet the majesty of its power is there. Behold it O, oh, beloved children of the light, use it feel your authority in your call to your mighty. I am present, and waver not your victory is sure through the service which I have been able to render you, all students in America, and those in the other parts of the world who are in touch with this radiance. Do you know, have you thought how there are those already in touch with this radiance in every nation in the world? Quickly and surely there have gone forth these wonderful books, giving the experience of this beloved brother standing before you. They are carrying this light to the world. Into all parts of the world those books have gone. Their light carries them everywhere, and ere long they will reach hundreds of thousands and carry their message of light and freedom to all. Your call, 
beloved ones, your decrees have acted with almost infinite power. Do you realize what a blessing you are giving to the rest of mankind, you who have come to know the glory and freedom into which you have entered? As the beloved Saint Germain told you today, oh, your doorways are held back by your mighty presence, because of your call to it. Doubts and fears shall vanish from the earth. I so decree it, that mankind may enter into the glory of the freedom which every heart knows and one day will experience. So we ask you to go on and on and on, into the greater and greater light and freedom. Arise. Awaken. 270. In the fullness of the light of your presence, that your light may shine and illumine the earth, that you may pour forth such a mighty radiance from your mighty I am presence, that the very radiance becomes visible to the human form. Then will mankind seek the light, every one. Weary not, O oh, beloved ones who have called so earnestly for some definite manifestation of the proof of these great laws. Surely you have before you, so far as proof is concerned, every proof that any heart can desire of the reality of these laws and their application. Yet shall your call be answered more fully. Abide in patience. Your call cannot be denied. Remember, as your earnestness and intensity increase and the light within you expands, it becomes compulsory for that great light to answer you, if your sincerity remains dauntless. You have in your hands, oh, that you might understand it fully, your scepter of power and freedom. Apply it, oh, beloved ones, with all earnestness, giving no thought as to time or space, but just go on in the great joy of applying the law of your presence. Let it do its perfect work in its own good time. See that the intellect and human impulses do not in any way interfere with the glory of its expansion, for it will one day give you all the proof in the world that you want, or anyone else, of its efficiency, its power, its authority. So I ask you to be patient. Naught shall be withheld from. Anyone who has entered into this freedom which just came. Make no mistake. It is no idle concept. In the setting aside of this one-year period, it means one-third of your life effort in this embodiment is set aside, glorifying you by an assistance unheard of in the history of the earth. It gives assistance in dissolving and consuming your own creations, that you may more quickly enter into the freedom of the light which beats your heart, the mighty I am presence. May you all feel the importance of these words. I speak as one having authority, all authority, human, divine, and cosmic. Therefore, you shall see the fulfillment of my words. According to the earnestness and intensity with which you continue to adore your mighty I am presence, call it forth into action, and hold harmony in your feelings, will this come quickly or yet be delayed? The messengers are pleading with you, with all the students everywhere, for the need of harmony maintained in your feelings, of purity of thought and feeling. Then the great law can come forth quickly and do its work. You, precious ones, humanly your part is to make the call, stand by with firm determination, and allow the great power of infinite light to flow forth through you and into your world to do its perfect work, its mighty process of creation. No longer does the power of darkness control mankind. Today it has lost its power. Tomorrow you shall. 278 as Enter through your gates of freedom I to the degree that you can feel the truth of my words and feel it active within you shall it be quickly or otherwise manifest. This is for you individually as well as the nation. As the great decrees go forth continuing their mighty work, and with the assistance of this great light, will the earth send forth its praise and rejoicing. Even the rocks shall tremble with the joy of freedom, even the trees and the vegetation shall lift themselves in rejoicing. Such is the power that awaits the earth. You, O, oh, precious ones, are responsible because of your willingness to stand the impact of human thought and feeling, your willingness to go on in the acceptance of your presence, in spite of the ridicule of the ignorant. In that call you have enabled this great light to come forth, this great transcendent blessing to enter within the earth. Feel its glory, its expanding light which will bring forth freedom, happiness, and every good thing. As the earth enters through this into its own once again, then all shall have all required for use. All human selfishness shall be wiped from the earth forever. Then will there be released by that light, more than mankind's fondest imagination has ever conceived, even more by far. Can you not, will you not live in this great, great anticipation, until you see the fulfilling of its glory?
how privileged you are to be a part of the great vanguard which is enabling this to be done. Oh, precious ones, do you in your outer activity sometimes feel humble because of your lack of something? Then I say to you, arise. Awaken I stand forth in the light of your mighty I am presence and allow its power to take out of you that feeling. Feel your authority and power in the acceptance of your presence to let this light flow forth to bless, heal, prosper, and enlighten all with whom you come in contact and flood the earth with its purity and perfection. Mankind being the creator of all that has limited the earth and yourself, then in that great call shall come the release. Even the earth shall find itself again rejoicing in the glory of this freedom, as well as yourselves. Today will you not rejoice with me, with all of us? Enter again into great calm serenity in the sending forth of your decrees, individually and in your groups, that the perfect mighty work of the presence may go forth filling the earth with its beauty and perfection. I rejoice with you with all my heart that there are so many of mankind today whose light has expanded enough to allow them to recognize their presence. Once they gaze upon that amazing chart, they know they have come home once again. In that, they know and enter into the glory of its application. This causes the great light from within to expand and 280 Ascended Master Discord Expand until every cell of the body becomes a glowing, blazing sun of light. Oh, precious ones, will you not believe me when I say it is possible for many of you sitting here in this room to shortly call forth the light to expand in every cell of your body until everyone about you can see that light with his physical eyes? There are five in this room whom I could place my hand upon and expand that light until every one of you would see the glory of it. I say this for your encouragement. Will you not let this light expand? In the great calm serenity and the fullness of the great power which is the light within you, you have the reward it brings. Let no one, yourself or anyone else, longer limit you in the acknowledgement of your presence. If you do, the fault is yours. Remember, nothing binds you but yourself. There is no power in heaven or earth to bind you longer but yourself. In the fullness of my love and light I bless you, O oh, precious ones. Today you have become a part of my love. As those beloved children in India became a part of my love, so today you have become a part of my love. God bless you. Feel its wondrous embrace enfold you and sustain you forever with its courage, strength, and infinite directing wisdom, its full power to act. Mighty I am presence of each one, I charge through the higher mental body of each one the activity of my presence and power of divine love to do its perfect work for these beloved ones of the light. I call forth the mighty violet consuming flame to dissolve and consume quickly every vestige of human creation. Will you join me in this call in the silence and sacredness of your heart, that its service and assistance may be given without limit? I leave with you the blessings of the great ascended masters, the legion of light, and the great cosmic beings. Remember, the great silent watcher has his eye upon you no longer may the students of the light practice any deception. Wise are they who always tell the truth. Accept tonight my eternal enfolding love, light, wisdom, and power to hold you in its embrace until your full victory and ascension. I thank you.